Hey guys, welcome back to the Electric Bike Lab. Today we're gonna to be building a very low cost 72 volt, 38 amp hour battery pack. We're using six of these Eco Packs. We're gonna be building it for this bike right here. It's a Stealth Bomber, and this is a low cost Stealth Bomber build, so we're gonna start tearing these guys down. First thing that we're gonna do is pull out all of the Phillips screws that hold the lid on. Then we'll probe each battery for voltage, make sure that they are equal. We're now gonna pop off the lid by placing the battery in a vise and then smacking these ears until the lid comes free. Now there are four Phillips screws underneath this silicone that we need to take out. So put our Phillips drill right in the middle, kind of guess. Once they're out, we'll take our pry bar and we're gonna pry against the plastic piece and we're gonna slowly pick the battery out of the plastic case. Now we have this green circuit board, so we need to free this. First, we'll chop off all of the wires. And then we're gonna peel off this little foam layer on all of them. see what they look like now all stacked up beside each other and then the tabs are connecting to the PCB so the easiest way is to slash it with a knife a really sharp blade cuts through through these very easily you can also use a pair of pliers to chop them it's a little less clean but once all of the tabs are cut you can just pop off that circuit board and throw that right in the garbage so now our battery pack is free. However, there are these plastic tabs that we still want to remove in order for the batteries to be able to stack on top of each other more compactly uh, and more flush. So easiest way is to get these little blue pliers and trim them and then use a little hammer and pop them off. So you only need to trim the one side and then the hammer can pop them off really easily. So now they're flush and we can stack them on top of each other. First, we'll wrap them in Kapton, apply some glue, stack them on top of each other. And we're going to do three high. So that's going to be three in parallel. 12.8 amp hours times three is about 38 amp hours. And we want to connect them together so that each uh, group is connected with the, the three groups above it. Uh, you can do this with wire or with spot welding. Um, spot welding is a little easier for us, but each of the 10 connections need to all be connecting on each battery pack. This is pretty simple. Uh, wires or spot welding, we'll both do. And these tabs do not have to flow any current. Uh, they're just parallel tabs. Now we're using glass fiber tape, which is a very strong tape to hold the packs together. The glass fiber tape doesn't stretch which makes it really good for this application. We've also put little tabs that we're going to use for our balance leads uh, on our battery uh, from our BMS. And we're just holding those tabs down in place with this capped on tape. You can solder the tabs on or you can spot the tab, spot weld the tabs on. Uh, both work, but each tab is going to have a wire connected to it for the BMS. Okay, this thing is ready for a BMS. Okay, our BMS is on. This is an ant, or sorry, this is a Dally BMS 60 amp with a on off switch or a soft switch. We're using an XT90 connector for discharge, XT30 for charge. And we have these plastic little panels that we actually get from IKEA. They're uh, food tray um, plastic sheets, a couple, about a millimeter and a half thick, and just gives a very nice solid protective layer on the outsides, which would be interacting with the sides of the stealth bomber frame. So now we're can use some heat shrink, uh, blue heat shrink wrap, and wrap this pack up. And that's basically all there is to it.
that is how you build a very inexpensive 72 volt 30 amp hour battery that happens to fit very nicely in almost any stealth bomber frame especially uh these ones that we get uh, these very common chinese clone stealth bomber frames uh, they fit very nicely in there and that's almost a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery and you're able to build something like this for six hundred dollars canadian uh us even you know, 400 350 us uh, all lg cells so that's a quite the pack and capable of 9000 watts peak with each cell being rated at 10 amps discharge each small pack that there are six of each being able to handle about 1500 1600 watts uh 40 amps per pack 36 volts so about 15 1600 watts uh quite a bit of power and pretty economical so that's definitely an option if you're building one of these bikes this is definitely one way to to do it for the battery anyways hope you guys really enjoyed this video please uh tell us what you think tell us what you'd like to see i hope this brought you a lot of value um, if there's something that you do want to see then please drop it in the comments we really want to hear and thank you so much for checking this out. I uh, hope you subscribe and have a great evening. Take care. Thanks a lot.